We are David and Kathy Pascal, missionaries with Baptist Mid-Missions, ambassadors to the Jewish people in the New York City metropolitan area. Our sending church is Bethel Baptist Church in Torrance, California. Kathy and I met at Tennessee Temple University in the fall of 1989. We began dating our sophomore year in 1990. We were married May 30th, 1992. While students, we began ministering together weekly at the Hamilton County Nursing Home, where we had the joy of seeing souls saved. We soon became active members of the Everlasting Nation Fellowship. The Everlasting Nation Fellowship is a Christian fellowship focusing on the nation of Israel and the salvation of the Jewish people. I was nominated as Vice President and Chairman of the Fellowship in 1990. In November of 1991, God called me to surrender my life to full-time Jewish evangelism during a missions conference at Highland Park Baptist Church. While Kathy and I were still students, we began attending the Mitzvah Congregation, a Reformed synagogue in Chattanooga. Our purpose was to learn about the Jewish religion and seek to reach the Jewish people we were becoming friends with. On several occasions, we were able to share our faith with some of these Jewish people. After graduating from Tennessee Temple in 1994, Kathy and I served as missionaries with IBJM. We went to Brooklyn, New York in November of 1996. Throughout the years, we have been blessed of the Lord to have served in a variety of ministries. We have continued to seek to reach Jewish people with the gospel, and we have seen many souls saved, both Jews and Gentiles. The New York metropolitan area, also referred to as the tri-state area, is the largest metropolitan area in the world. The area includes New York City, Long Island, and the mid and lower Hudson Valley in the state of New York. Also, the five largest cities in New Jersey and six of the seven largest cities in Connecticut. The approximate population in this area is about 24 million people. This area has the second largest Jewish population in the world, 2,100,000. This is the equivalent of about 15% of the worldwide Jewish population. Once we receive our monthly mission support, we believe the Lord would have us to begin this ministry on the south shore of Long Island. The community we believe that the Lord wants us to begin this work in is called Long Beach in the Five Towns area. This section of the New York City metropolitan area has one of the highest percentages of Jewish residents in the nation. A demographic study which I researched, taken in 2013, said that about 45,000 Jewish people live in this area. The Jewish people have a condition that all people have, and Christ is their only hope. They are sinners in need of forgiveness of their sins. Jesus Christ came into the world to save sinners. They need the truth, and they have not received it like so many others have not heard the truth. Some people have the mistaken idea that the Jewish people had their chance and they rejected their Savior, so that is why God rejects them. Let me bring some clarification to this falsehood from the scriptures, God's holy word. 1 Timothy 1.15 this is a faithful saying and worthy of all acceptation that Christ Jesus came to the world to save sinners of whom I am chief. Romans 1.16, the Bible says, For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth, to the Jew first and also to the Greek. The Bible says in Romans 10, 12 and 13, For there is no difference between the Jew and the Greek, for the same Lord over all is rich unto all that call upon Him. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. The Jewish people have three great needs. Number one, they need to be saved. Number two, they need to have the gospel preached to them. And number three, God's people, the church, need to take this gospel message to the Jewish people and others now. The task of preaching the gospel can be challenging concerning the Jewish people. But Kathy and I have confidence in the power of the gospel to save souls. When we preach the gospel in the power of the Holy Spirit, we have no guarantees that people will give their hearts to Christ. But if they never hear the gospel, we know that those who die without hearing the gospel will surely perish. The time is now and the harvest is almost ended. Jesus said, I must work the works of him that sent me while it is day. The night cometh when no man can work. The application is this, we the people of God must do the work that he has left us here to do for him. For Kathy and me, that means taking the gospel to the Jewish people in New York City. 
The majority of the Jewish people today in America do not practice their religion as much as identify with their heritage of being Jewish. 70% of the Jewish people in America are very secular, and out of this group you would mostly find Jewish people who may have some association with Reformed Judaism. Out of the remaining 30% or so, you would find the other two branches, which would be Orthodox and Conservative Judaism. Kathy and I believe the best way to reach a community is to engage the community through meeting felt needs. We are looking to the Lord for wisdom and direction to open a Christian community center. The plan would be to use this community center ministry to reach the people of Long Beach. We feel this will develop into a church with an emphasis on evangelization and discipleship. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, there are three key things that we would ask that you would do for us. Number one, will you please pray for us? We need your prayers for this great work. Number two, will you please join with us? We want you to participate in reaching precious Jewish souls with us that we may rejoice together. Number three, will you please pray about and consider partnering with us by helping us with our needed monthly mission support so that we may be able to do the work the Lord has called us to? Thank you so much for considering the work of missions to God's chosen people the lost sheep of the house of Israel. We do hope you will pray for us and consider helping us as we seek to reach the Jewish people and others in the metropolitan area of New York City with the gospel of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ.